Olga Radulovic. She's from Serbia. She's a biologist, a radical feminist from Belgrade. She's a member of a non-profit group called Women's Solidarity. So the question I have for Olga is, how is gender identity ideology entering the mainstream in Serbia? Oh, well, there are um, different ways in which this is happening. First of all, I need to emphasize that we are a culturally a conservative country and that uh, maybe not surprisingly um, uh, trans is more acceptable socially than being gay or lesbian or bisexual. And the uh, Serbian Orthodox Christian Church, which uh, yields a lot of cultural power, uh, is very uh, tolerant to transsexuals and will marry a transsexual person uh, under their new name, uh, in their preferred sex, etc., but will not marry <laughs> to gays or to lesbians. Uh, so it's, it's just that, that kind of cultural climate that, that makes Serbia ripe for transgenderism. Uh, on the other hand, the, um, the narrative of being born in the wrong body is very attractive to um, homophobic parents of non-gender, non non-conforming children. And uh, if you, we already have um, YouTube transgender influencers, and if you look through the comments, many comments underneath their videos, you can see that people are really buying into this fairy tale of being born in the wrong body, etc. So um, uh, yes, and the uh, the younger generation is unfortunately getting all their information from Twitter, Tumblr, Pink News, <laughs> uh, and they're really um, starting to in they're really indoctrinated basically. And uh, of course, uh, as it's, it's like that in the whole world, as, I, as far as I'm aware, um, Belgrade Pride, which was uh, an organization to support the rights of gays and lesbians in Serbia, is now all about transgender and queer and anti-turf rhetoric. So, um, uh, and yeah, the, these professional activists, are laying the legal grand, um, the, uh, groundwork for uh, gender self-ID. They are really slowly but surely pushing uh, towards um, gender, gender self-ID. So on the one hand, it's, it, it's like a paradox. We are a conservative country. We are a fairly homophobic country. But on the other hand, I can see that transgenderism can really, can really successfully invade um, but the law and the public opinion, etc. So that's 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 what I'm seeing now, and it's a worrying situation. 